We should note, folks, that it is not just here at home in North Texas. The world, in fact, seems to be sweltering also. I want to talk a little bit more about that. So let's go ahead and bring in uh, Scott Padgett once again uh, for that part of the story, Scott. And really, again, uh, it, it makes us feel a little bit better. It's not just us. So many other people. Yeah, it's not just us. And this is somewhat alarming. Now, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says Earth just had its hottest June since global records began in 1850. That's 174 years. So how hot are we talking? It's nearly two degrees Fahrenheit warmer than that above normal. And there's a good chance that this year will rank the on the top 10 warmest years on record. Now in North Texas, it was also hotter than normal. So let's take a look at that as well. You're able to see that in June for North Texas, the average temperature was 94.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That's up by 2.7 degrees. Uh, so it's definitely alarming. And so let's make this climate connection. Noah cited several events that contributed to the heat in North America alone. We had our seventh warmest June on record and in the southern part of North America, a heat dome formed over most of the state and also over Mexico, uh, the southern United States that is. Now let's all head all the way from now the southern United States of Mexico north to the Arctic where ice coverage there was about 130,000 square miles below average. So we're going to go from the north all the way then down to the south, the opposite end of the earth to the Antarctic, a record low sea ice coverage happening there. Now the month of June was 940,000 square miles below average average nearly 500,000 square miles below the previous record. So what does all of this mean? And well, why should you care? John Nielsen Gammon, state climatologist and a regents professor at Texas A&M University says the impacts are wide ranging. Rising temperatures are the most most direct effect, obviously, and temperatures in Texas have gone up by a couple degrees Fahrenheit so far, uh, but it uh, it also affects weather patterns. It affects the intensity of of uh, rainfall affects the intensity of hurricanes. Um, some work we've done indicates that extreme rainfall is increased by about 15% across the southern United States over the past few decades. Um, so it it affects basically all aspects of climate and everything in the world that's sensitive to climate, which is just about everything. And Nielsen Gammon says some years, yes, this still will be warmer than normal and some might be cooler, but he expects a general trend of rising temperatures and all of the associated impacts year after year, Ken. All right, Scott, thank you very much for that explainer. We appreciate that. And of course, you can stay on top of any advisories or warnings along with our first alert weather team. You can do that with the CBS News Texas app. Just get your cell phone camera open, point it at that QR code there on your screen, and that'll get you going with the download. New here at five.